Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with Three Gamer Goggles, and we are at the Mr. B Games booth in Origins, and he's going to quick give us a quick rundown of Prospectus, or Prospectus, or however you wish to plus it. <laughs> Ah. Prospecting things. Well, you know, it's like bestiary and bestiary. Which one's right? Uh, um, so I'm going to turn it over to him. He's going to chat a little bit, and then we're going to set up for the board. Awesome. Let's take a look. And that's B-roll. There you got B-roll. Because it's magical. Prospectus. Uh, what's cool about this is uh, Matt helped us film this about a year ago when we uh, did the campaign, and it's evolved quite a bit yeah, since the last time we saw it. So uh, we want to show you off some of the some of the cool new shiny bells and whistles. Uh, the core of this game is that we are all uh, apprentice level wizards, and we are trying to learn how to uh, make potions and spells and things of this nature. And to do so, we have to speculate by buying ingredients. Uh, and first up, we have some tears from owls. That's always a good thing. You know, the tears of owls is a pretty fair spell ingredient. Uh, right up here is probably my all-time favorite. This is uh, Goblin P, you know, because uh, that makes really, really good potions. Uh, over here in this purple, that's uh, Troll Sweat, because everybody knows that Troll Sweat is purple. Uh, over here, we have Pixie Dust. Which, of course, you get right over here, every time you throw frogs in a big giant blender, you get frog juice. So there you go. Uh, the core of the game works off of this mechanic of these uh, cards over here. And what they'll tell you every turn is they tell you the, that you're going to grab one blue cube, and one yellow cube, one purple cube, three pink cubes, two green cubes. And every time a new card comes onto the board, you're going to take whatever the card tells you in the cubes. And those are all those spell ingredients, and you're going to throw them over here into this awesome, cool, awe-inspiring crystal ball. And what will happen is, uh, some of those cubes may come out, some of them might not, and actually there are some stuck in the tower currently that may jar loose when we do this. And that will kind of tell you approximately how things will go. And then this card is going to tell you, based on what comes out, how the ingredients are going to react. So, we're going to take all these cubes, which drop them by the pen, and they're going to go in here, like so. And, starting with the Owl Tears, one came out, and the card has a green arrow, so that means that the price goes up by for all future purchases of Owl Tears. Uh, then we look at the yellow uh, Goblin Pea. Two of them came out, so that means that, due to the red arrow, that the price goes down too. So if you were speculating that Goblin Pea was going to become valuable, then you were wrong. Goblin Pea is no longer valuable. Uh, the next up was the uh, Troll Sweat. One Troll Sweat did come out, and that increased the price by one. Now we only threw in three Pixie Dust, but Four actually came out, so the price does just go up by four. But that's just uh, one of those examples of very volatile. Pixie Dust Market was very volatile. Now it's super popular, and you should go buy some because it's now super high priced. That is ridiculous. It's ridiculous for a bunch of fairy dust. <laughs> and finally, it would be Frog Juice, and uh, the price of that goes down by two. Boom, boom. So that's how you would adjust. Uh, that, that's a basically a basic turn for someone. Uh, where the fun bells and whistles come in is when you actually speculate on when to buy and when to sell. Uh, and every time you buy one of these commodities, they all have different powers. So, for example, every time I sell Pixie Dust, whatever the price, I get a bonus of $10 for every unit of Pixie Dust. So it's a good way to make some quick cash is to uh, buy a bunch of cheap Pixie Dust and just keep selling it because it'll actually be uh, worth more than its actual resale value sometimes because uh, of that. And so all of them have different abilities, and these tokens come out randomly every game. So you got lots of replayability because uh, that money might only happen on Pixie Dust once out of yeah, one out of ten games. Uh, and then the other cool thing that you can do are there are spells in the game, and these spells allow you to manipulate things in the game. So let's say uh, you really needed that extra pink cube to fall out of the tower. You can play this spell, which is a pulse of magnum spell, which means pound the table. 
back. So I would literally go over, hit the table, and if more cubes came out, it then you. I could affect the price. But in this case, I hit the table like a six-year-old in a pillow fight, and nothing actually came out. So that's what happened with my spell, and that essentially is uh, a quick overview and how to play turn on this practice. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, man. Have a good time. Thank you. Enjoy your show. I do such a thing. <laughs>